This video is to show some applications and advantages of the magnetic caliper base from Magdro. To assemble it on your calipers, loosen the screw, slide the calipers under the washer, and tighten the screw. It's locked on both sides of the channel. It also includes screws and a plate to build your own height gauge, ready to attach and use. The biggest advantage is easy storage and access. Just pick up your calipers and measure, or set it down and adjust. In routing a hinge pocket on a door, I routed the wrong side. So when the right side was routed, I needed a fill piece. This is where the Magdro caliper base came in handy. The first thing to do was to cut the correct length. In order to do that, a stop piece was clamped to the miter gauge. and the board was cut a little longer than needed. The calipers were used to measure the inside pocket length and set to zero. So when the calipers were put over the board, only the cutoff mount was given. The board was then repositioned against the stop and the calipers were used after resetting the zero to move the board the correct distance away from the stop and it was trimmed to length. Then with the board in the pocket, the thickness and the width were marked. The blade was adjusted to the approximate width dimension and the fence was moved over for a test cut. The same procedure was used by measuring the depth needed setting the zero on the calipers and measuring what the fence was set to the fence was moved over the correct distance for those of you with cam lock fences it's best to do your adjustments close to the cam due to the swing of the fence when tightening the cam The blade was then lowered to the thickness dimension. The fence was brought over for a test cut. And the same procedure was used. Measuring the width, setting the zero, measuring the te test cut to determine the distance the fence had to move over. And that's how easy it is to make a fill piece. You can also use the caliper base in setting an accurate blade height by making a height gauge with the plate and screws that came with your caliper base. Say you wanted to set the blade height to half the board thickness. With your calipers in a convenient spot, measure the board and divide in half. The first cut should just be shy of the desired depth and measure what the current blade is set to. Attaching your calipers to the height gauge, setting the caliper depth probe on one of the teeth of the blade, re-zeroing your calipers, 
you can watch the distance on the readout as you raise the blade. That's all there is to making an accurate blade setting. Say you wanted to cut a quick dado, but didn't want to switch blades. You can use the magnetic caliper base. First, measure the kerf and set the zero on the calipers. Then measure the board to fit in the dado. Now you have the measurement needed to move the board over. You'll want a tight-fitting miter gauge for this. Use the magnetic base as a fixed position. Set the zero on the calipers. Make the first cut. Move the calipers over the correct amount. You may want to add a little bit for glue. Nibble out the material in between, and you have your dado. This part shows a planer adjustment with the magnetic caliper base on a steel planer. After planing the board so that you know where the planer height is set to and measuring the board, you can make the desired adjustment for your next time through. This will be using a caliper base, combination square, and a marker. With the caliper base at the end of the steel ruler and the combination square held in one side of the miter slot, extend the depth probe and set the zero on the calipers. Retract the depth probe Slide the unit to the other side of the fence and check the fence alignment. Next, we'll check blade alignment. First, always unplug the saw. Raise the blade just shy of full height. Using the same procedure we did for the fence alignment, Mark the blade where the depth probe hits. Extend the depth probe and set the zero on the calipers. Retract the depth probe. Rotate the blade so the mark is on the other side. Slide the unit and check the blade alignment. Next, we check the blade runout. Place the calipers next to the one end of this blade, extend the depth probe, set the zero, rotate it in intervals while checking the runout. You may want to check another blade to see if it's the blade or the arbor. Finally, check the miter gauge slop in the slot. A tight fit is good when doing finger joints or cutting a dado without a dado blade. It's always a good idea to know the accuracy of your table saw because accurate tools make accurate cuts.